We are going to learn the uses of water. Okay? We are going to learn the different uses of water. What we use water for. We use water in our daily lives. Okay? There can be no day that you will not be in need of water. So we can use water to bathe. Can you see the boy is taking his bath? Okay? We use water. Can you use juice to take your bath? Or shower? No, we need water to take our bath. You can see mommy or grandma is cleaning the floor, mopping the floor with water. So we need water to clean, for cleaning, for mopping. We also need water for cooking. You cannot cook without water. So water is very important in our daily lives. We need water for washing. You can see the girl washing the clothes. So you need water to wash your clothes. Plants need water. So we need water to water the plants. And we need water for drinking. So bathing, cleaning, cooking, washing, watering plants, drinking. So these are some of the uses of water. So we should not waste water because they have a lot of uses. Now, I'm going to tell you some of the sources where we get our water from. We keep talking about water, water, but where does this water come from? Water can come from different sources, like the well. Remember, this is the well. What well, well. And you can pull the water, drag the water from the well. Very good. Now, the water also comes from rain. So, this is the rain where we can get water. When rain pours, we can get water from the rain. We can also see water in the sea, the lakes, they all have water. Water also can come from the pond, okay? We can get water from the lake or the pond. We can also get water from the tap, okay? Very good. Well, rain, sea, lake. Tap, pond. These are the different sources of water. Now, let's take a look how clouds are formed. You know, the water comes from the cloud. Okay? Now, how are these clouds formed? First of all, sun rays on the water. When that happens, water gets vaporized. Can you see the sun? The sun rays on the water. You can see the sun rays on the water. And when that happens, the water vapor, the water vaporizes. Can you see the water? It vaporizes. Water vapors go up and then now they can form the clouds. When the water vaporizes, it goes up, then now it falls, forms the cloud. And after that, rain comes. Good job. Now, some animals that live in the water are the, uh, the frogs, the duck, the fish, starfish, sea turtle, jellyfish, squid, octopus, shrimp, seahorse, crab, seal, flying fish, dolphins, whale, shark. They all live in the water. They cannot survive out of the water. So you see, the water is very important to human, animals, and plants. And so we should not waste it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.